Blessing of the Sucking Jade. You want to do that one, Patrick? Might be able to do this one. What? Finally, he's here. Something the matter? Or the daughter of Finu Commercial, Guild Manager, Strange, all the rumors of her young master. We're here to investigate. So you're the real commerce young lady. My apologies. I was going to consider your wondrously fashionable attire. And you're flying up there and saying hi. Boom. Must have come from the Leeway Harbor to discuss matters. I... Lou, I am surnamed. And all the village call me Grandpa Lou. <sighs> Apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I've been not even the tea to treat you uh, to his guests. The adept I will certainly not not be satisfied with the tea somewhere this year. Grab Lou, the stuff right by you, but there aren't those tea leaves. The quality is far lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from Feyun Commerce Guild. For we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are the biggest customers after all. Jump in the tea leaf! Pile, Patrick, jump in the tea leaf pile. <laughs> also, I gotta fix my camera. One second. A few moments later. There you go. You jumped in the tea leaf pile. The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory, whether it be the terms of taste or quantity. This is an open secret among the tea merchants. Oh, Luo, the chief village chief has decided that no tea may be sold until the quality problem is solved. <laughs> Frozen camera. I've heard that the young master of the commerce skills is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he is caught up wind of this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I thought I would come in person. Or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Anyway, the problem with tea leaves, belie I believe, is with the soil. Because there's no phosphorus, potassium, or... Whatever other... Oh, crap. I know there's like a, a chemical thing to it. Potash. A problem with the soil? Indeed. I've lived here my whole life and worked with tea. I was but a wee lad. All I drank was tea. And that was it. I can notice problems that others may miss. As I see... Things that rhyme with tea. Also, P, and may Adeptus Fusion bless us. It must be an imbalance in our soil and water. Adeptus Fusion? Ah, oh, so you heard the tale. That's quite rare, even among locals. Few remember. Many, many years ago, Kui Ying Village was no more but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt here, and all thanks to the Adeptus Fusion that the demons were defeated, and the tea trees were planted. Allowing our ancestors to come here. But it's really a problem with the water and soil. I don't know what we can do about it. Actually, that's what we've been asking to come and investigate. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about it either. Oh, we wouldn't know the first thing about the water. No, wait. Isn't that exactly what we're here to investigate? Ah, so it does mean you believe me. Yes. Is that so? Then that makes things easy. <laughs> yeah. Come, I'll bring the chili samples. Go have a talk with old Lou. And pose behind Patrick multiple times. Something wrong, Grandpa Lou? You're getting smacked behind by... By Farina? No, nah, that's no problem. Young lady, if it wasn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the Feyun Commas when you're meeting with old Lou? Really, Chief Luo is a good person, but how to put this? He puts more trust in machines. Oh god, who wants to join in? Alright, fine. I'll let a third person join in. Avengel has entered the world. Not sure if I can play the part. Doesn't seem like a good... Doesn't seem like a good plan to Paimon. Alright, don't worry. If he sees through, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame falls on you. Let's go. Okay. I feel like someone's gonna blame me. Oh, okay, you also got Nita. Uncle Lou, this batch isn't any good. There aren't... They're not fragrant enough when you dry them, and then you get so dry and brittle, you can't even put them in the roller. Even the ones that survive the secondary process come out the other in a complete disaster. Are you sure this isn't the problem with the machine? Are you sure we haven't forgotten how to operate it? What a thing to say. How could we dare be careless without ever looking over our shoulders? Hmm. How could you, indeed? Ah, oh, it's Grandpa Luke. Guru, get back to work. Respectable looking young miss. Ah, uh, I'm the young lady of the frame camera. 
Uh, press moment any disciple of Wu Hao. Hey, just who the heck calls themselves a young lady? Who the hell are you to question who's a young lady? Ah, that's me. It's call, call me Mini Pie. Uh, why? <laughs> why, Pie Mon? <laughs> oh, in that case, welcome. Welcome. I guess like you is a rare treat indeed. I swear Uncle Luo is getting a flashbang from all those pictures. <laughs> What's wrong? You're looking pretty miserable. Did you mess up the work again? Hm, you old mucky me again. My apologies, dear guest. Normally I would invite guests from afar. You know, sees, but this year's batch. Uh, well, you know. No tea? Are you seriously gonna let me, the young lady? No need to stand as our money chief. We're here to help. Yeah. Yeah, the look that. Ugh. Can't think. Camera. All the time. Very concerned with the tea leaves. There's no need to be so tied up in the formality, Chief Lowell. Haha. <laughs> Very well. To tell you the truth, this batch of tea leaves is no good either. They can't be dried. And I can't tell if they were bad or they were picked or if it's a problem with the machine at our workshop. Hi, why that difficult? Why, why not just use some of the older leaves you have in stock and see if the product you get from drying them is any different? If the product is normal, then you know it isn't a problem with the machine. Seriously, I told you before, forget it, as we have an important guest present. Then we'll give your method a try, Jin. Do you have any fresh tea leaves remaining from older batches? There's some in the warehouse. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, good one. We've been talking to you for a good long while, and you weren't listening to a single word. Where are you? Uh, go fetch some older batches and process it along with the newer stuff that Carpalu brought with the machine. Don't you dare skip a single step. I'll be watching you. Hmm. After a bit, bring back two batches of freshly dried tea. How about this? I see our two guests are... Yeah, are quite young. They might prefer snacks to tea tasting. Why not turn these two batches into tea cakes? The quality of each will be evident with a single taste. What do you think, Gold Luo? Agreed. We'll do just that, Jin. Listen up. Take these two batches of tea leaves. Make them into different tea cakes. One cake from each batch. Don't you dare even get a single tea leaf mixed up. Yes, sir, Uncle Luo. You want me to mix them all in one cake? Oh, for... I can't even... Yeah. Oh, sorry for the long wait. We both, we got both tea cakes here. Let's try them one at a time. Well, how's the taste? The first one tastes a bit strange, but the second one was delicious. I got off. Oh, I want to share share me me pie's opinion. Also, you got in between us. <laughs> the tea cakes made from the tea we had in stock taste fine. <laughs> All right, so you win. According to you, the tea processing machinery is fine. In other words, the problem is with the tea itself. The new batch of tea is just not as good as before. So the water and soil? But perhaps the culture is the problem. It's old and disrepair, which must have offended the Yedetas, causing the tea to deteriorate. No, no, it's the soil and water. It's the elements that nourish the soil. They... Enough, enough! Let's get the technician and tar the tea culture in here first. It's that Fontanian, the one from Fontaine Research Institute. Hot! Hot was it? Ah, oh, name's such a pain to pronounce. Jin! Jin! Just where did that lazy loafer obscene the second? That brainless netwit. We're gonna have him go to Yi Long Wolf and search for the technician. Would you specifically need someone from Tain to fix it? Ah, well, whether. The way in Fontaine, most things powered by elemental energy on more or less principles. Yeah, Fontaine and Engine can fix it, so can our thaumaturges. It also happens that Otmon Tanyi likes to travel around Liwei, passes through here very often, and loves to offer her services. As though this round of tea, culture, and maintenance. Let's see you on a guess. I'm really sorry, but I need you to trouble to go to the Yi Long Wolf and find our technician. Miss Out Young Moon Tanyi. Oh god, that name. It's more likely she's found herself a show where she can sh can't tear her eyes off. How could you possibly dare to ask a guest to do such a thing? Oh, Luo, you misunderstand me. Too many times. I want a guest already have business to attend at Yilong Wolf. Just passing along message of the way. Nothing really. Is that so? Huh? Is that so? It would seem to be so. I'm truly sorry. Then if you, you would on a guest. Old Lou, I'll leave it up to you to accompany them. Okay! 
Kyla, thanks for your hard work. You scared old Luz so much he was jumping at his own shadow. Ha <laughs> ha! Even just as it turned nighttime. You mentioned earlier you're here to investigate the water and soil, right? Best you head over to Yi Long Wharf. Then, it isn't far from the headquarters. There are runes left by the Abet die along the way. As for the passing message to Oat Moon Tan Yi, well, please lend a hand. Okay. Hey, where are you? What's the act? The showtime's over. Paimon just realized what's with the mini pie anyway. Anyway, just leave it to us. You can rest easy, Grandpa Lou. Such great kids you are. Really great kids. Oh, I'm my carrot, God damn it! Now I just realized, oh god. A few minutes later. Make some for yourselves. In any case, travels, be careful on the mountain path, and don't slip by. <laughs> just walking down the stairs saying hi. Fine tea, full moon, leave Kiong village, over here. Right down the road. Can't miss it. Hmm. Goldfish. Gold carp. I'm chasing the golden carp. No. You drop yours first. <laughs> Fly! Ha! Huh. Can I kill him? Stop right there! Play goes on. I'll approve you! Hands right will. Nice. Boom! Boom! Solve the puzzle. What puzzle? What am I doing? Why am I doing it? And also, did I activate the teleport? I did activate the teleport. What am I doing here? Why am I doing here? Answer, I don't know. Hmm. Oh. What did I get? Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I... Look at me. What do you mean, look at you? I am looking at you! Do I have to take this elsewhere? Do I have to put this somewhere in the... I think I do. Oh! I got them all! Nice! I got every last one of them. I had to get all the... I, I know what to do. Okay, and I gotta do this. Come on, you two are really brilliant upon seeing the dissipated adeptal energy. Ugh. Uh, Fujin immediately understood the situation. Of course, we were super duper experienced adventurers, you know. Still, why can't you say anything sooner? You didn't just forget, did you? Fujin. Ahem, what should we do? The adept will be full of challenges. Call me the master test taker. Even though I fail at almost every test I ever took. Speaking of which, we have the problem with the soil and water you mentioned before. Grandpa Lou is also sure it's behind this some deteri deteriorating quality of the tea leaves. Yes, you two have seen Kri Chiyongi village. Uh, quality and quantity of tea leaves continues to decline. So will the village, and until finally, in the years to come, it degenerates back into what it was a million millennia before a desolate mountain forest. You sure it wasn't hyperbole? Eh, it is. 
It's true, the Lord of Geo could not stand idly by disaster befell. For the sky to collapse, the conqueror of demons and other adept I would do, they're almost supported. Should the waters under the Elon Wharf breach the dikes and floods, Leeway Harbor would aid the villagers. But without tea, the stretch of mountains would, or Keon Village would rather lose its reason and exist in human eyes. That makes sense. When you put it like that, Paimon understands. So are you two willing to help correct the imbalance of water and soil? Yes! What do you say, Minnie Pie? Ugh. Who the heck is Minnie Pie? I never heard that name before. Hmm. But Paimon wants to help Adeptus Fujin in Keon Village. We should think about such delicious tea cakes being lost forever. Just because there's no good tea would be such a big shame, wouldn't it? Yes, that's ex ex excellent. Your willingness to is commendable. And one is grateful. Also, you're facing another way for no apparent reason. <laughs> As a result, the disharmony and in the soil and water, and one is indeed well aware of what to do. <laughs> First, you two must go up against the currents and seek the jade treasures thrown into the waters. In the end, we must perform the ancient rain jade rite once more, dispelling the amazing matter that settled over the mountains and fields at rivers, restoring the water, veins, and soils. Okay, got it, but just how do we do the ritual? Dot, dot, dot. A death of Sushin, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. As for the ritual, it's a bit easy early for that. We'll just see each other later. And she's gone. According to her, we need to go against the current. It means upstream, right? The same direction as the Yilong Wolf? Okay, let's get Farina Farino. Hmm. Oh, wait, I gotta get the church chest. Church chest, look at my outfit. I am looking at your outfit. Why should I care about your outfit? Why should I care about your outfit? It's the same outfit that was unlocked during the um, thing. I unlocked the outfit, but I haven't even unlocked the character. Alright. Uh, why am I doing this? The ritual of the whatever the hell L O. I don't understand. I think it's amazing. Just watch your understanding. They're singing. Singing. Rocking around. Singing. Uh, what? I really don't know what kind of magical power the old lady has. Battling, chanting, and singing, reciting, reciting, and crying. What? I haven't got a clue what she's saying, but it's amazing. Little Mal, can you understand? I don't know if I can understand you. Little Mal, you got a frickin' battle face tattoo. Hi, uh, it's just how uppressing it is. And we're fighting soon. There was that old dude who could do 88 flips and trips, ripping stuff. Ugh. Yeah, it's great. It's just a shame that I don't understand the whole thing. A whole bunch of people fighting and jumping all over the place. A super flashy one-on-one. -on -one. Super flashy one-on-one. -on -one. Hello, we're looking for a technician from Fontaine. Outmuntani. Who? Outmuntani. What? Haha, <laughs> sounds like Grandpa Lou sent you, alright? Call me Huta Magni. I'm a researcher for the Fontaine Research Institute. God, I thought it was a Chinese name, but no, it was a Fontaine name. Oh, God. Hi, I'm the young lady with female and commerce skill. Come to the age of the press in the moment of need. What do you mean from the Guan clan? You're Wait, what? Paimon, is it was a grandpa who sent us looking for you. Miss Garnett, Miss Paimon, hello, I'm Little Mao, a friend of mountains. Humanting. Yes, that's what my name means, Humanting. Can be a bit hard to pronounce. Huge mountain person? What? I so I asked a little mountain to call me that. Really? Quite an interesting pair. How did you two meet? I was quite fortuitous. Last we went on the mountains in the south for a spell. And I got lost in the fog. A huge beast the size of a cow, a tinning Louis, was glaring at me and I thought it was done for. Her. But just then, a little kid suddenly shouted at me. I followed the sound through the mist and go all out and I was saved. Otherwise it could have been eaten like just like that. And my family in Fontaine what are you going to be able to claim the competition on my account? Hee <laughs> hee, I know more about what goes on in the mountains than the grown-ups. I really wonder why. Is that so? You're a little amazing, Mal. Who Mal, Ting, Grandpa Lou, and Chief Lou are looking for you. Alright, got it. I'll be there in a jiffy. I'll be there in a jiffy! <laughs> says Grandpa from The Simpsons. <laughs> but I just can't understand a word. What sorts of stories are they telling? It's about how back then the huge carp and the monster from the mountains fought. I uh, you kill me, I'll kill you story. In the end, everyone dies. Is that a really good story a kid like you should ever know? Uh, that's a pretty cool in summary, but I don't talk about killing and dying so much. Little mouth thinks about kind of stuff too much. You gotta become the villain when you grow up. You might become the villain when you grow up. When you're so... Yeah, so into the hero story. 
Just those in Keating Village are waiting on me. It's time to go see y'all later. Okay. Go on. Shut up. End conversation. Move on. God, I'm tired. Okay, now we solved the puzzle. Let's get back to business. Oh, God. Everything is a Mulan reference. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> what are you two going to do? Huh? To be honest, we're not quite sure how to explain it. The water and soil in Ching Yu Vale are kind of out of whack. We need so we need to cure them for everything in Ching Yu Vale to get better. I get it. Miss Pana is trying to say that we need to restore nature. Hey, that's right. You're really amazing, Lamau. You got it right away. Restore nature, you say. Did someone talk to you about that? That's right. A friend who's taking care of me just she wants to restore nature too. If we restore nature, everything get better. You wanna? Uh, she also told me about you two. Oh, so you've seen her too? You mean my friend? Of course, silly. Hmm? Could be for friends if I've never seen her. Ugh. Fair point. Things better. We want me to. Pyro remembers. We need to find the jade treasure in the water and then do some rain jade right. You can go through upstairs. Oh god, what? I know, come with me. I'll show you where to look. What is it, really that easy? Little Mao, your friend wants to restore nature, right? Yeah, she told me a lot of stories about before Kiyun Village became Kiyun Village. How the tea trees came. She said that things will get worse if Chiyun Vale Vale if the natural order isn't restored. Oh, looks like we're on the same page then. Now you don't know you can find the leaves, right? Yeah, I don't know, but it'll help it mention the J treasure, the rain J and stuff. Thought right, come with me. Okay, fine. Moving on. All right, where do I gotta get? Try entering the waterfall. Oh god, the freaking waterfall! I gotta go behind the waterfall again. Where's it? Look for an objective in this area. Oh god. Oop. Oh, I, I see it! It's right here! It's open! But I can't even get to it! Oh my god, I can see whatever's behind here. What? Hmm. We're entering the waterfall. Ah, huh, not like this. The current's too strong. We can't get in. I'm unsoaked. Okay. Okay. That's how it is. Mental mind control rock. Oh, what? <laughs> lizard. Got the lizard off the wall. Keep up. Can't follow you, so you're on your own for this part. What, you can't join me? Really? Dang. Oh, you can't join me in here. Ooh. Huge call marks. Huge beast left them behind. Uh-oh! Huge beast. Alright, what else do I need? Where else do I have to go? I don't know. Oop! Is it there's a clue I want to show you before right here? Cave paintings. That's the tea bag. Is that moss? The pine can't make it. The heads or tails? Hey, it wasn't there was any moss last time I came here? No need to worry, little owl. It's so humid in here. No wonder the moss growing everywhere. There seems to be a way to clear it up. Do I burn off the wall? I'll burn it. Clear the mural. How do I do that? Well, just like that. Mind control. Wow! It's a scene of the ancient people from attending the festival and performing a ritual. Uh, pretty different from the festivals today, huh? Although the grown-ups in the city of Vale, Lord of Geo, were thriving. Who, uh, Hercule actually got here earlier than he did. Hmm. People back then used to th throw bits of magic jade in the river and then float along until they sink to the bottom. And they saw a way to guarantee good weather. Uh, prevent the river from flooding and the soil will be fertile. Based on what we previously discussed, I'm guessing the changing veil will be fixed after we found some uh, jade uh, that was thrown in the. That makes sense, doesn't it? Why oh, you're so knowledgeable? You rule, little now. These legends are fascinating. Getting hiccups. Got to end the quest. 
Yep, and everyone will be blessed and live happily after that. I prefer hearing the stories of ancient wars and battles. She told me the warriors back then were all giants who looked over 10 feet tall. Uh, the warriors the chain veil are covered in tattoos and they had these massive jade actors that could chop a person in half in the blink of an eye. And yet, in the middle of the earth, led by another than the Lord Geo himself, were even tougher. They clad themselves in suits of armor that weighed over a thousand pounds and fought with a hundred pound spears. Apparently, everyone was at war back then, and so much of the beast she river was turned crimson red. Later on, the mountains to the south became full of ghosts from that era. Even now, those who wander through the mountains might still be able to catch the singing in the wind. Eh! Scary stuff. Cover yours, Manny Pie. I don't think the story is meant for kids. Yeah, it sounds more terrifying. Huge mountains, right? You still won't dwell on this stuff at all time. There's no way to grow up so we tell these stories. They're always... We're way too young to hear them. They'll turn us rotten and stuff like that. But I'm old enough already. Hearing a story is not going to turn me into a monster. Besties, these aren't that all else still around. And you know these stories anyways. If my friend hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known the stories about the picture. Oh, okay, fine. I guess we'll move on. The grown-ups are right to say that the ancient people threw the jade into the river somewhere up high. But where exactly? And where did the jade float at all to? Oh, uh, look, it has to sink to the bottom, right? It's not that simple. If it was thrown somewhere up river, it would sink to the bottom. Be still pushed down by the current. Let alone after so many years. Hmm. So you ever heard of the ancient... You found chain fails. Small place after all. Hey, you know so much the future scholar material. Hey, but what if you didn't want to be a scholar? They don't earn much more. Uh, it sounds like no fun. No need for scholar. They don't make much of a dollar. Okay. They become a traveler just like us and we get more fun than adventuring around the world. Hmm, seeing as you know the sights of the rainy jade, what do we do next? Uh go somewhere up to take a look. Well sure, you're okay fine. Let's go. I wanna get that turtle, I wanna bring that turtle. Oh god, you teleported me all the way out here. Oh god. Can't go past waterfall. Alright, I'm outside the waterfall, Patrick. I don't know if you're still around. Hmm, sure if a real whiz kid. Pond has gone wondering what a massive thing in the distance. As you see as a jade mouth. Or the legendary jade ring that had depth is through in the water. Oh, but the river curves around here and the like current should speed up, but the river gradually gets wider here. Oh, so the rapid bend might result in things being deposited along the Colvex bank. Uh not to mention the fisherman's legend, it goes something like this, Jade shall rise for the second mouth, or something like that. Hey, let's go over and take a look. Fine. Go take a look now. Sorry, Pymon, you just need better friends. You're unfit for duty, Mini Pie. Don't worry too much about it, Pymon. Yeah, that's right, Pymon has lots of other strength. Whatever the case, let's go down to the bamboo riff. Oh, Jade Mouth, here we come. Oh, I got a check. Okay. Alright, Jade Mouth it is. Wow, we just popped up out of nowhere. Also, you want to join us? <laughs> Mr. Bowman, are there any stories about the Jade Mouth that you haven't heard before? No, you much better if you love your stories, kiddo. You have heard them all by now. Tell me more, tell me more! Alright then, we've heard it was mentioned in the Jade Mouth left behind by Rex Lapis when he was marched through to save the people of Chinyu Vale. Legend as they prevent the naval advance from downstream. The local dip die. <laughs> You're making it step as you go along. In those days, the paddy go god tried to redirect the river to drown the Middle-Earth station to both of us, but the giant white snake and the giant carp were subordinates disobeyed our orders. The giant white snake had a god while the giant carp uh, walking alongside your boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the frickin' autoplay. You might understand a lot, hero, but you haven't seen much. Take a closer look, there aren't any crops by the river. And now that Jay is true, the river hasn't flooded, but that also means it hasn't been able to provide irrigation for crops. There was once a wide, widely gently flowing river as today. Such a river leaves no substance in southern earth with banks. High, coastal leans, no people living here. Peaceful lives on both sides. Paimon gets it now, but you, you say the Lib Depti resisting the Lord of Geo, little Mao? That's how it was a long time ago. Some people believe the first Lord of Leeway was Rex Lapis, but in Shinyu Vale, we believe that before he came, there are other gods and Abdepti who protected our ancestors. I've heard Grandpa Lou say that Tisamar was actually the Carp Adeptus who planted our first tea tree. Oh, but aren't these Adepti meant to be baddies? They serve under a baddie god after all? 
in some stories, they're baddies while well, others are goodies, but it was all such a long time ago. Even the grown-ups don't remember much. They always try to buff, bluff me. Hey, talking about that friend of yours again, uh, such a supernatural thing being held. And there you go again. <laughs> all right, time to get off. We're here. Thanks, Gramps. Oh, uh, God, after the river's breeze, hit your ride, blah, 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 blah. Climb these things. Eternity later. Dang. Well, here's the huge mouth. How are we gonna find all the jade underwater? And oh, so that's what it is. The spring cries ripple through the veil that shines apart from the northeast shore. Hmm. I don't know what happened. It's one of our local folk songs. Granny singing as she's gathering herbs. Look from the center of the river to the banks. Under the side, you'll see two shrines hidden on northeast and southwest. These shrines keep the might whirlpool in the center suppressed. The jade is hidden beneath all the whirlpools. Yep, sounds like we're going to get treasure hunted. All right, I got to find the shrines southwest and northeast. Uh, I have a question. Does anyone else think the giant maelstrom suddenly appeared here might not be too great? <laughs> oh yeah, I won't mean boats no longer be able to sail in and out. Oh, don't worry about that. Friend told me, got what he need, but the wool there. Yeah. I was having the old boatman carry to make a living. Considering one boat, let's go get them. I gotta find the shrines. You know where the shrines are, Patrick? Rise. <laughs> wow. Can't see. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Shine down. Faster? Okay, faster. One with the force. I'll approve you. Oh God! Let's nip that in the butt. Oh my God! What the hell? Hmm. Okay, what do I do here? Oh wait, I know what to do. Oh, she's really up right about you. You're pretty out of the ordinary. Okay, got it. Why is there a chest here? Because there's a chest here! So what am I supposed to do here? Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. I kind of get it. Alright, I, I know what to do. Okay, I got it. I feel stupid already. I guess I settled it. I figured it out. It took a day. Ugh. Patrick, like I gotta ask you. If e if Evox ever got to this point, do you ever think he'd do these puzzles on his own? He only plays these games because. Like, to give people a hard time. He doesn't actually care about the story of these games. I don't want to try anything. <sighs> and that's what I'm concerned about. I haven't seen the whirlpool from the song yet. What should we do next? Oh, giving that adeptology of yours a try, Garnetetics. What do I do? Where do I go? What am I supposed to do? Try using your adeptal energy. Uh, this? Hmm...
Spirits Drift, whatever the hell that was. Ooh. Jump into the whirlpool. Ooh. There be the goldfish. See you again, Adeptus Fusion. Uh, but yeah, he, he wouldn't. Like... Like, I know he tries, but, like, he's gotta have that, that inner, like, gameplay to just enjoy games for what they are. Sometimes games are worth enjoying instead of trolling over. Ooh, teleport jump. Where the hell is this? Underneath? <clears throat> Somewhere? Underneath the river. Oh, God. A daily dose of camera freezing. Daily dose of laggy Bram. Friend of Texas and Pymon, we meet again. And who might this be? Uh. I literally forgot his name. Little Mal. No, I haven't met before, but you must be a good child, Little Mal. Hello, yes, that's me. How are you, an Adeptus? You are, aren't you? This is Adeptus Fujin. Yeah, thanks for your help giving Friend of Texas and Pymon. Little Mal. Is it really Fujin in the flesh? You can't believe it. I've heard so many stories about you. Now that you're not some kind of big slippery carp, but a lady instead of a big sister. Big carp? Honestly, what kind of stories have you listened to, Matt Little Mal? I really wonder as well. But then again, I really wonder if he rewords them to whatever else he says. Ahem, one is indeed an adeptus, and such takes form so one pleases. Yeah, you're an adeptus, because just like Mount Moon Carver, Mount Shaper, and Cloud Retainer, you refer to yourself in the second or, like, third-person pronoun. Uh, this particular form seemed like the most approachable form of conversing with humans. From what you said, you have a very unique scent, little Mal. Have you met someone in the mountains before? Someone with red eyes and a fair complexion, perhaps? Uh, not exactly, but Miss Sis, Big Sis Fujin, you're not... Talking about one of the other friends, are you? My friend from the mountains does sparkle like you do, but you're also really cool. She helped me get tons of loads. So it was her after all. So you're friends with it? Your friend wasn't Adeptus Fujin after all? Because that's Fujin's my friend now, isn't she? So I was the only Adeptus that doesn't sound address himself as one. I guess because he's been humanized? Like, like human Adeptus or animal Adeptus? Like, I've never seen Zhao, or whoever it was, as an animal. He was mostly, like, presented himself as human. So, I don't know. Do the animal ones, or fish ones, present themselves in the, in the, the one must do this, or a third person pronoun, indefinite pronoun thing, and the human ones do? I don't know. So, I guess that's that. Hmm. Of course, little Mal, I'm delighted to have made friends with you. Way to go, little Mal, you've now, became, you've now bec met two Adepti. Xiao's regular form is human. You'll learn about him in the story quest. Okay, so he also has uh, an animal form, I guess. Who knows? Question mark? Uh, what? You don't worry about it. It doesn't mean little Mal's friend is also an Adeptus? Hmm, whether little Mal's friend counts as Adeptus or not, I'm not quite sure myself. After all, Adeptus is merely a title. It's hard for people to say whether Adepti are even people. The word Adeptus is like any other word. Such hero, villain, or an idiot. No one is born Adeptus, and no one shall remain an Adeptus forever. That's true. So you've been a friend of little Miles you were talking about, right? Indeed, but it's been so long since I last saw her. Interesting! She used the first pronoun. According to what little Miles said. His friend wants to restore nature to... I would imagine so. But I must ask you all to please take this piece of votive rain jade. I originally hoped to remain here. The same as before. Never expected to grow quite so large. I used to love it so. This rain jade, it must be mentioned. Did it rain down or make it rain or something? Eh, of course not. The great change of geology. The ancestors of our people of Chinyu Vale lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of the emissaries whose beauty was pure as moonlight. Henceforth they began to take jade. 
which glowed as gently as the light of the moon, and cast into the river. As they did this, they would pray for the good omens, for fertile land, and for clement weather in the river banks held strong. Over time, these rituals grew in power, until one day, one day, one day. Big Miss Fujin, Big Sis Fujin, what happened next? One day, the long war became to become gods who would reign over the world began afterwards, and tradition lost all of its meaning. But though it was forgotten, its name still passed down for over generations. To cut a long story short, this piece of votive rain shape before us was the very last one ever to be thrown. Ha! Huh. Just as the part above the surface, when commanded by an adeptile art, can be made large enough to stop a flood. Its core has been swollen by uncontrolled adeptile energy. Most of its power dissipated in the surrounding area. The spear veins. Uh, this power has had the effect of the nearby flora and fauna, attracting even making apparitions. You must be careful. What? As far as you can tell, the adept energy that dissipated nearby should be sufficient to reawaken the hibernating votive range aid. That's the case. We're one step closer to achieving a goal of nursing the water and the soil back to health. After all, how should I say this? Thank you both. You're doing an amazing thing by choosing to help me. All right, bring it back nature. Of course, I want to restore nature too. Then get rid of all the corporations causing all the anti-environmental things. <laughs> You'll understand everything later. All right, then let's go separate ways for now. You retreat the adeptal energy. Meet again by a deep pool shrouded in mist and to the south. The south, eh? She gone and disappeared again. Do what Big F Sis Fuchin said. Speaking of which, what's it got to do with voting? Voting? See, you're not much brighter than that. It's votive. Oh god, are you getting politics mixed up in this? Voting. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, it's so complicated. No, it's not. Politics is complicated. I would know. I've seen so many political videos. Hmm. So since you mentioned it, what does vote of you mean? Why is it called range again? Exactly, what does it mean? I don't know! You're you're asking me? Ooh. There we go, I freed the Sealy. Okay. Uh, I, I see... Ooh, there's two or three of them. How many are there? Are they hiding up there? There's like two or three of them just waiting here. Hmm. And they made the water go down even further. Play together. What? Okay, I got one adeptal energy. I gotta relax. Oh god. <laughs>